Hello guys. Okay, I'm sorry that I'm back on the air right now. Uh, I'm gonna put what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put together both sounds in a new uh, file, so everybody can so everybody can uh, can listen the whole show. I apologize for this intervention. Um, let me also put this uh, on on Facebook. And apologize for this intervention, but like I said, I was telling you that, you know, the problems that I get here. So, sorry for this. Apologize. It is terrible. Never had this be uh, problem before. Um, the reason why I'm having this problem is because I, um, I, was, I was trying to protect me from those hackers. And now... I was protected, but then again, it was not too fast enough for the broadcasting to go on. So, sorry for that. I would fix that problem. So, anyway, what I'm going to do right now, I need to uh, let you know that things are are looking favor for Mosul to be delivered. We believe that uh, maybe by this weekend, they will deliver Mosul free. And people are going to celebrate and everything. And... Um, we need to actually uh, wait for things to develop on their own. Um, a, in, a, in a currency exchange, a currency exchange, um, it is not something that is difficult to understand. It is not difficult to to assimilate. It is not a complex thing as they want to put it to you because what they want you to believe is that there is no way they're going to let millions of people get rich. Well, let me just tell you something. Today we have news that Ripple actually made 150 people multi-millionaires. Ripple, the cryptocurrency Ripple, because of the revaluation it, it, it actually got. And I'll be, people will tell me, how is that possible? Well, these people have... The audacity of betting on Ripple from the very beginning, when when it was less than a cent, and they bought hundreds of thousands of Ripple. So now with that that it revalued this way, I think it revalued about forty cents of something. They became millionaires. That is how. You see. Mediocrity, it is not only a stage of lack of education. Mediocrity, it is a condition that for years and years and years, not to mention decades, politicians and corrupt politicians using the establishment have been putting in your brain. Just like that. I think I mentioned one of my shows that I found people who love to drive trucks. They love it. I got a lot of my of my friends who are truck truck drivers. They don't like the fact. I mean, they don't like to see themselves doing what I'm doing, which is basically sitting down on my on my office, making a lot of money without forcing myself. Because they don't feel like they actually fulfill themselves. They don't feel like they're doing something. So, I totally understand that. You see, having a job is also has, you got to do whatever you want to love. Whatever you love to do. I seen people, and I'm not lying to you. I seen people that after actually do whatever I do. They just hate it. They hate it. They're miserable. They need to come back what they do. I got a guy who was making about $3,000 a month. Something that he has never done before. And he came back to do whatever he wanted to do. He came back to do what, what he was used to do every single day. And what was that? Throw in the trash. I'm not lying. Because he said, I love helping people. I love having, being a member of something 
that will clean your neighbors. And I'll tell you one thing. I respect that with all my heart. I respect it. It is not something for everybody. Okay? Just like I told you, it's not for everybody to be rich. For those who are listening to me, you are a very special person. I just, to I just told you that. You are a very, very, very special person. Because you see things totally different. Yesterday, I talked about Reset your mindset. And I'm going to repeat it again. You need to reset your mindset. Because your reality is about to change. Okay? It's about to change. Stop being mediocre. Stop being afraid of making decisions. Because the more money you get, the more responsibility you will have. That is it. I'm not lying. So... Not to get, go on with my show because, you know, lose my concentration in the show. I just gave you the two major news right now. They are getting prepared to deliver Mosul by this weekend. Would it happen? I would not be surprised. Would I care? I care because the people, they need to have a peace. They need to live in a peaceful country. That's the whole thing I care. Would I care personally? No. Because unless this thing is over, I don't care. Are we close? Yes, we are close. Very close. Like never before. Now, will it happen this in, in the month of May? I don't think so. I just recently told you in the last, in the last show that things are going they probably going to drag it all the way to July. And I'm going to tell you why. Before I got my broadcasting stop, I was going to tell you that. So pay attention. Ramadan starts on May 26. May 26, okay? And usually the elite use Ramadan for them to actually... Do whatever they need to do before they either destroy something or create something. Let me repeat it again. Ramadan are being used by the elites either to destroy something or create something. So what they're going to destroy right now, they're probably going to destroy everything that, dis that discriminate them because they are about to be caught. Alright? So, how long the Ramadan will last? It will last one month. So, if we got May 26 as the first day of Ramadan, we're probably going to have until May, until June 26. From June 26 to July is only less than two weeks. Do you see how easily they're going to drag it to July? Do you see what I've been telling you that they keep telling me that they're going to do it in July. Do you see the reason? And now everybody's going to come out saying. Nothing. No RB. No RB. They deliver Mosul and still no RB. Will people go crazy on this? I'm asking you. Answer you. I'm asking you this question. Will people go crazy? Will people go nuts? Will that be a, start, a good starting for chaos and panic? Yes, it will be, isn't it? So, we come to a point of the stage that I've been trying to train you. They've been trying to prepare you. Because it's not going to be pretty. You see now what I've been saying? Be prepared. Be ready, because you're not going to like it. We need to go through a storm before we get a blessing. It has been, so, it has been told by prophecy. That's what I play the prophecy. Okay? That's what I play the prophecy. That's what I'm going to tell you. The one place, the one thing that's the saying the prophecy says... When things seem at their worst, pay attention. When things seem at their worst, 
I shall, I shall bring him forward and I shall free them. So we need to go to a storm on our own. And I'm not talking the stupid storm that Iraq has been announcing and reporting on the news. We're going to storm the city in the next hours and that's and that. That is stupidity. That is bullcrap. We are going to see a storm in such a high level. It is going to be so fast you're not going to even realize what hit you. Watch. So be ready for chaos. And it's going to be an exciting, exciting roller coaster. I'm telling you. This roller coaster is going to be so big and so exciting. Everybody's going to remember what I've been telling you. So be ready. Okay? Just have faith. Pray a lot because we are about to see our own victory. All right? Take care of yourself. Thank you so much. One more time, I'm going to put this fire together with the first show so everybody can do not miss what I said. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll see you next time for another show of uh, the Vec News Show. Bye-bye now. Thank you for listening to The Fake News Show with Benny. See you next time for more conspiracy news, current events, and intel from the most controversial show from Montserrat Radio.